everyone! We're going to be making these uh, needle felted little dryer balls that look like Planet Earth for Earth Day this week. So go ahead and start with some core wool. And um, I've shown you with my heart diffuser uh, tutorial how to make a knot with your roving and then felt that into a shape. But for making um, a big ball like this, I have just decided to show you a different way. Um, if you're new to needle felting or if you want to do this with a child or uh, something like that, you can look at uh, my blog post in the um, inf info box below. There's a link to it and it has um, a kid's kit to get started. Um, with It has roving and a book and all kinds of stuff to get you started and tools that are more suited to um, younger hands. So um, that's something great to look into in the in that blog post. I also have a couple of other fun ideas, the eco-friendly ideas to uh, do with your family for Earth Day. So as you continue just um, felting and using your needle, I'm using my biggest gauge needle right now, and um, that's just shaping the ball. <laughs> Every once in a while, you'll need to roll it between your hands and that will help um, that'll help smooth things out and you just continue felting with your big needle until you're happy with the shape and then um, once you're happy with the shape we'll go ahead and start adding all of the color Okay, so I'm happy with the shape of the ball, and remember you are going to felt it down a little bit more as you add the coloring to it, so it doesn't have to be exact. I used a combination of light and dark blue roving just um, to kind of give the impression of waves and clouds, you know, the ocean when you look at pictures of the earth from space, the ocean is all kinds of different colors. So um, I just kind of, kind of... Um, separated those out and kind of mashed them all together and then took small pieces of it and felted that onto the earth with my medium gauge um, my medium sized needle and um, completely covered the earth you can I thought about doing little kind of swirls for waves and things like that you could do that or you could just um, kind of have it all of the strands going in the same direction and um, if you have like if you have a few white spots sticking out don't worry about that because we also still have to add the green continents so um, the and the the texture of of the different colors will be good and make it look more realistic so um, it's up to you 
how how intense you want to be with these. I will warn you that my continents are nowhere near to scale <laughs> because um, I was I was just I, I figured you'd be able to get the gist of what I was doing, um, but it was fun in either case, uh, and I figured that you know if you. If you're working with your own kids or, you know, if you're making this for for your home, you know, it, you, you, it doesn't have to be at a scale. So anyway, uh, just continue adding your blue, adding your water, and then we'll, we'll get to the continents. Please forgive the lighting changes. I was trying to get my lamp to stop making my my camera adjust. I usually do these during the day, but it's been a crazy week with moving and kids and everything. So um, yeah, next next tutorial will be done in sunlight, so you won't have to worry about that. <laughs> I've switched to uh, my fine gauge needle now and uh, just trying to smooth out some of the, the rougher pieces that are still sticking up and then of course still rubbing between your hands will help make all of those um, strands adhere and lay down and not look as bumpy. So um, most of most of what I'm working on now is with the um, with the fine gauge needle until we start adding the green for the continents and then the the to stick those on I'll be using the middle gauge needle again and then to clean up the edges and everything I'll switch back to the fine gauge so those are the two we'll be using for the rest of the video Alright, when you are happy with what your uh, your world looks like so far with your, your blue, uh, see I have some white patches and that could either be like an ice cap or you can cover it up with some of your green for a continent. Um, I'm using kind of a bright foresty kind of green. Um, I think you have a couple of different colors in your kit if you order the kit through my blog post in the uh, info box below. But in either case, um, you can look on a map and kind of just try to eyeball it. You can be creative and just <laughs> make your own continents. Or you could always, if you want to be really technical, you could pull up a, a map, uh, any map just on you know Google Images or something, and then copy it into Word and shrink it down to scale and use that as kind of a pattern. But that would have been a little bit too much <laughs> for, for me So on something that's going to go in the dryer. So I just tried to eyeball it. I, I'm working on South America right now and um, I, I got the shapes of South and North America and Africa pretty close I think and then I just didn't have very much room for Asia and Australia so um, do it however you want however however intensely you want um, I wanted this to just be a fun quick project so that's you know whatever you want to do it's up it's up to you
As far as the needles are concerned, I basically just used the middle gauge needle to kind of outline everything and then switched to the, um, s the finer gauge needle for adding everything else in and, and fine tuning everything. So uh, when I'm switching the needles, that's, that's why. Is once you kind of have that outline, you don't need all of the, the intense puncturing. You just need something to kind of clean, clean up your look.
Right here I decided to add a little white spot for um, Antarctica again, not to scale, <laughs> but uh, I just I wanted to add that little something there, I thought it'd be fun. Anyway, so um, once you're happy with all of your, your felting and everything and it's nice and sturdy, um, make a couple of these. This one was actually a little too small, I should have made it a little bigger. but. Um, Make a couple of them and throw them in your dryer the next time you dry clothes. And it's supposed to cut down your your um, drying time by 30 to 50 percent. And so that will save you electricity, which is good for your wallet and the planet. And um, it also cuts down on static, which is really nice. So um, little little eco-friendly tips for you there. Okay, so um, this is my earth dryer ball, and again, if you want to see some more ideas I have for things that we do for Earth Day, you can click on my blog post in the um, info box below. And if you liked this video and would like to see more needle felting videos, please give it a thumbs up or comment. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and comment, and I'll get to making something new for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.